I think you've heard me talk about um, Frankie Jack's fudge, or oh, that's what I call it. I've actually got it off Pinterest, but I want to show you how I make it, because it's slightly different. I just put different things in there. Uh, but this is his fudge. Ah, isn't it gorgeous? It's absolutely scrummy. It's like the best thing you've ever tasted. Um, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to be able to do this. Now, I'm no good in the kitchen. I'm absolutely useless, but I'm trying my hardest. Now I've got Frankie Jack, but the problem is because I've got a sweet tooth, everything ends up being sweet. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, I'm just going to quickly show you the, the start, then I'm going to go through the ingredients whilst it's in the microwave. So Pyrex dish, I've got uh, chocolate. I'll show you which one to get in a moment. And then I've got uh, Tesco's condensed milk. I'll go through all of this in a minute. And I just you just want to pour that in. Okay, I'm just going to stick it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. So bear with whilst I just do this. Now don't forget to subscribe and then you can keep up with everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm, well, learning to use the kitchen. <laughs> and also my crafty stuff and what goes on as being uh, a mum that works busy, I uh, work in television. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up as well. So let me show you what's in the ingredients because it's so, so easy. I tend to go to Tesco's. Now, this is Miss Molly's. I think they've renamed their branded chocolate because uh, it was like Tesco's. It wasn't Tesco's Extra. It was Tesco's Every Day. You know, the cheap, 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 cheap stuff. And it tastes really good because there's no point going spending 80 pence to a pound on these bars of chocolate. Then it just gets expensive and you may as well have gone and got the fudge. So I use... So I went and got this and this is the only one that I could find now. So I think they've started doing this. So you've got 100 grams... So to make the batch that I'm doing today, you should really have three and a half bars of these, but I don't know where the other half went. I'm assuming it could be in here. Um, I really don't know. So that's what you use for one batch. Then I got the Tesco sweetened condensed milk, and that is a three, uh, 397 grams, so basically the whole tin, okay? And then I've also got M&Ms, but it's your choice what you wanna put in there. I've also got the Tesco's pink and white mini marshmallows. However, those are the only ones they had, but those tend to be the most expensive. You can get them cheaper, but they're like the mini little marshmallows, which you'll see in a minute. And that's all you need going to finish in a minute that's all you need to be able to make and it's more there's more than this but a, that is absolutely delicious so just waiting for that to finish because it's got 11 seconds left you also want a tray with grease proof paper what do you call it parchment whatever it is that stuff you know that stops it sticking <laughs> not the greatest in the kitchen but this is really simple so here we go I've done it in the Pyrex dish. You can see it now. If you have a look at that, in fact, I might just tilt you down so you can see. I hope my camera doesn't fall in it. Can you see? So, um, what you're going to do now is just stir it around, and then you're mixing the milky, the um, milky chocolate. I use milk chocolate, by the way, in with the condensed milk. So, if you can see, it's gone a bit gloopy. And then you're going to take a, um, a bag and a half of these. So I've made two batches with everything that I've done because obviously I'm showing you the first batch. You want a bag and a half and then you want to fold that in to there. And this makes the scrummiest fudge you have ever tasted. Now you can um, put an extract in there if you wanted to. You could put a vanilla extract, an orange extract. Um, you could put a uh, salted caramel if you wanted to. Um, I have done it a few times, but I mean, this is what Frankie Jack makes. This is, do you remember me telling you on the television? This is the one, if anybody has seen it, see me on there this is the one that Frankie Jack makes obviously with me but he does such a good job of it he made it as he left nursery he made it as he started school for all his schoolmates I quite like the marshmallow to be mixed in a little bit gooey and I didn't do it as well with that first batch so let's see if I can do it with this one. Okay, so it's gone a bit gooey. So you've got your parchment. 
you take your M&Ms or whatever. I mean, it'd be nice to do it with mini eggs. That's what the lady did that um, I got it from. But um, unfortunately, there's no not as many mini eggs around at the moment because we're Halloween season. So I put half like that. Now, I'm not the best in the kitchen, so just do excuse me. But all I do is then pour it into... Oh, watch my tags. Don't want them covered in fudge. And then I just pour it out like so. Put it all out the bowl. Whoop. I'm going to get my hands all chopped to in a minute. Like that. Put the bowl to one side. And as you can see, that sort of gloopy... It just fills the tray beautifully. And then, oh, just ruin it then, didn't I? And then you take your M&Ms and then just scatter them over the top. And then, excuse me, because I've finished, so I'm allowed to lick my finger. <laughs> And it's done within about an hour, 40 minutes. Sometimes I tend to leave it overnight, but it is just absolutely scrummy. And everybody that's tasted it's gone, oh my gosh, wow, you must have spent ages doing that. And look at it. And I've just got time now to say goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe because I've got to pick Frankie Jack up from school. Uh, yes, don't forget to subscribe. You can keep up to date with everything that we're doing. Uh, we're actually going to be doing some Mickey Mouse um, pumpkins. So there'll be a vlog coming up on that. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you. See you.